But first of all, let's kind of go into the factor theorem. Um, and you can think of the factor theorem as very related to the remainder theorem, which I spent a lot of time, um, James, kind of going over here. So this one's saying is x plus 2, x plus 1, I'm sorry, factor of the polynomial f of x, and negative 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 5. So you could easily just use long division with this, right? Or what we're about to learn next, synthetic division. However, in my opinion, I think it'd be easier to apply the remainder or the factor theorem. So if x, x plus 1 is a factor, then I know x equals negative 1 is the 0. Correct? Yes, because you set your factors equal to 0 and solve, so x equals negative 1. Well, that means then if f of negative 1 is equal to 0, then x equals negative 1 is a 0, and x plus 1 is the factor. So basically, if I plug in f of negative 1 and I get 0, then that tells me x equals negative 1 is a 0 by the remainder theorem, and x plus 1 is a factor by the factor theorem. So how do I show that? Well, let's plug in f of negative 1 equals negative 3 times negative 1 cubed minus 2 times negative 1 squared plus negative 1 minus 5. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. That's positive 1 times negative 2 minus 1 minus 5. So that becomes 3 minus 2 is 1, 0. I get negative 5. So therefore, not a 0, not a factor by the remainder or factor theorem. Alex, would you mind letting her in?